Yeah, you know, Simon, this would traditionally be the weekend of the DIY art fair, and clearly that's had to be canceled as so many other things have been, but artists have gotten creative. Surprise. <laughs> no surprise there at all, really. And as you can see, uh, we are visiting one particular artist who specializes in what she calls pop surrealism, and it's really darn cool. This is Alyssa Clash. <laughs> Alyssa is standing next to some of her print art. Uh, tell me a little bit about your artwork here. You said it's yeah. partially, you're doing some of it by hand and some of it digitally. Yes, yeah, so I create everything by hand and I'll ink it, first I'll draw it out, I'll ink it, and then um, I color it digitally and sometimes I'll create some handmade textures and import them. Um, but yeah, everything is done digitally. And then I can transform any of these into just um, paintings on canvas, on wood, or even murals. So. so this, clearly the Backyard Art Fair, really unique event. You're set up in your driveway here. Um, mm -hmm. Normally, uh, what types of events would you would you be at? And you, you can uh, show us off your stickers here yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. Um, so normally I would be at the DIY Street Fair. Um, Dally in the Alley, which is such an amazing event. Um, Comic Con. I can see Comic Con. This definitely yeah. seems like something I'd yeah. see in Comic Con. So tell me a little bit about. You've got the stickers. You've got these pins. I w tell me more about that. Yeah. Um, so some of these uh, stickers are just. Um, they come straight out of my sketchbook. Um, Are these characters people start building relationship with? Yes, for sure. Um, and especially, there's one piece in particular. Um, mm -hmm. Right here, it's uh, the beekeeper, which was actually on display. It was a huge public art piece on display in Royal Oak for about like two years. Oh, wow. Yeah, and so, so people recognize that. They and, recognize yeah. it and they love it. I mean, I even had some um, people say, oh, I took my senior photos like right in front of this and like oh they gosh. send it to me. It's so cool. So. That's really cool. Yeah, yeah, you've become kind of an icon here. And uh, throughout this time, since the pandemic started, you've actually been helping teach others to do what it is you do. Which yes, is really yes. I actually, I teach online too. So, I mean, that has just been such a rewarding experience. Um, and being able to share this with my students too, so yes. they can see how it like, their art really does transfer yes. outside the classroom. Well, the Backyard Art Fair, it is only today. All these artists though, they do have social media and websites, but it starts at 11 o'clock this morning. There are 10 yards and a little over a dozen artists. So this is a really cool way that you can still support local artists and uh, a little progressive art fair, if you will. We've got more information on our website at WXYZ.com. Saima, back to you.